guys, in previous videos we've uh, done videos on how to come down the ooze to the Trent, how to leave the Trent to come to Hull, and how to come into the Humber from the North Sea. We recently had a meeting with the ABP manager responsible for Humber VTS, where he set out the rules for the road out here. So what I'd like to do is just go through those rules that we as leisure users need to adhere to. All vessels entering the Port Authority's area must be seaworthy, must have marine VHF and it must be working and switched on. Life jackets must be on board and advice to be worn. It is the skipper's responsibility to ensure the vessel complies. The seaway is controlled by VTS Humber. They operate on VHF channels 12, 14, 15. They also have radar and AIS. The area is split into VHF zones. These are channel 15. This covers from the Ooze and Trent down to the Humber Bridge. Channel 12 covers from the Humber Bridge down to Cleanest Number 4 Boy. And Channel 14 covers from the Port Authority limit in the North Sea, close to Sperm Point, to Cleanest Number 4. When entering the Humber, either from the Trent or the Ooze, call up VTS Humber on Channel 15. Giving you your boat name, the type of craft, i.e. a motor cruiser or yacht, the number of persons on board and your destination. You should leave your radio on channel 15 to listen for further instructions. As you pass the Humber Bridge, switch to channel 12 and report your boat name and that you are now passing the bridge. If you are coming into Hull Marina, first call the marina on channel 80 requesting a pen in. You should do this when outside the marina. Radio connection is by line of sight. There are a number of tall buildings shielding you from the marina. Once you are clear to come in, give a quick call to VTS on channel 12, informing you are clearing the Humber. The same applies if you are heading out to sea. On leaving Hull Marina Lock, call VTS Humber on channel 12, informing boat name, type, persons on board and destination. Keep a listening watch on channel 12 until you pass the changeover points for channel 14 or 15. If you intend going out to sea, when you pass clearness number 4 boy, inform you of change to channel 14. Then once beyond port limits, call to inform you have cleared. When coming in from the sea, you start on channel 14, switch into 12, etc. This is important. It allows the VTS controllers to understand what traffic is on the river. If you have AIS transmitters, they can follow you easily. But if you don't, then you will only have a small radar blip. This can easily be lost in uh, background clutter. They can keep you informed of any traffic heading your way. Remember, you are in a port. We have large commercial tankers, container ships and ferries, they cannot stop or manoeuvre quickly and in many cases they can't see you. As a leisure user we can't impede any commercial vessel and must always ensure that we give them plenty of sea room. Something to be aware of, if you do impede a commercial vessel then you will be investigated by the MCA and this could result in a large fine. Also a point to note the Humber does have a speed restriction. This is 20 knots. VTS can track you with radar. Even if you haven't reported in, VTS will spot a fast moving radar return and can, and do, inform the port police, who may dispatch a fast rib to check any unknown vessel. The rules are very simple. They are there to protect you and to protect your vessel and not to it spoil your enjoyment. In fact, they can just add to that enjoyment of the journey.